All right, this is Group 6's video presentation for our uh, Design of Experiments project. This is for Dr. Fidel Megahead for Quality Control 4330. Our uh, experiment was called Beer on Ice and tested the fastest way to cool a room temperature beer. This is a three-factor experimental design, and the three factors were coolers, cooling elements, and type of beer. The materials you'll need for this are one metal pot, one styrofoam cooler, one plastic cooler, ice, cold water, a large measuring cup, a quarter cup measuring cup, one digital thermometer, 27 12-ounce can beers, 27 12-ounce bottle beers, pen and paper to record results, three timers, and a computer with software that can run a NOVA analysis. As you can see, we already have our three different, all our materials assembled with our three different coolers. And Marcus is going to show us how to start a trial run. <laughs> He's going to begin by getting, measuring out four cups of ice and putting it into the empty styrofoam cooler. For this run, we're going to do it with ice and water. So he's going to go ahead and get four cups of water from the sink, cold water. Now that the water is poured in, we're going to start a three minute timer so that the, uh, the ice and the water can mix and reach a more equal temperature. As you can see, we already have one here that's been sitting out for three minutes and the water and ice have kind of combined. So we're going to go ahead and put this beer in and start a timer for 10 minutes for the trial run. This beer here in the hard plastic cooler with just ice in it has almost been sitting for 10 minutes. It's got another another 40, 37 seconds on it. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about how we did our, uh, our data analysis. As you can see here, we have a grid system built up that has two different uh, rows for bottles and cans, with each of those having the styrofoam, metal, and the plastic cooler, and the styrofoam and the metal and the plastic cooler, as well as three different types of columns with ice, ice and water, and ice and water and salt. And each one of these has three different replications because the uh, design of experiments tab in, in uh, the ANOVA analysis said that with the parameters of our experiment, three, three replications are necessary. Okay, you can see that the timer just ended there. So Marcus is going to go ahead and pull that out and start recording the temperature. And there's a line on the thermometer that tells us just how far to submerge the thermometer into each beer. So the thermometer is submerged to the same depth for each one. Fifty-one point six degrees Fahrenheit. All right, fifty-one, and that was with a can in the plastic cooler with just ice. So we're going to go ahead and put fifty-one, and uh, that is in degrees Fahrenheit. Once we've uh, collected all of these, we're going to go ahead and punch this into an Excel file and put it into, we use Minitab for our ANOVA analysis, so we, we're going to go ahead and put it into Minitab and run our ANOVA, ANOVA analysis on it. So say for those of you that want to complete it at home. For those of you that want to complete it at home, you can use any other ANOVA analysis uh, thing, and that'll do the, the same thing. Good. I guess.